Some infections come from the air we breathe, some from the food we eat, and some from the water we drink. But then again, there is another kind, one which is very common, dangerous, and yet unspoken of. These are called nosocomial infections. Hello everyone, my name is Charity Wood, a biochemistry student at the University of Health and Allied Sciences, and today I'll be bringing to your awareness what nosocomial infections are, how they spread, why they are dangerous, and the role you and I have to play in their prevention. So what exactly are nosocomial infections? Nosocomial infections, also called hospital-acquired infections, are illnesses that patients develop during care at health facilities. They can also be described as infections health workers acquire from their patients or from their places of work. Nosocomial infections can also be described as infections acquired by visitors who visit the hospitals. They are not sicknesses or infections you originally went to the hospital with. They are picked up or acquired from the hospital environment. They can affect our lungs, urine tract, blood, or even wounds after surgery. How do nosocomial infections spread? Germs are everywhere and easily spread, especially in places where there are many sick people, like hospitals and health facilities. They can be passed from unwashed hands, shared objects, crowded places, or frequently touched surfaces. It can even be transferred from contaminated surgical tools leading to sepsis and infected wounds. The lungs can be affected when contaminated ventilators are used leading to pneumonia. The urinary tract is also affected when contaminated catheters are used leading to urinary tract infection. They can also affect our wounds or even our blood when contaminated surgical tools and syringes are used. Why are nosocomial infections a big deal and why do we need awareness? They are a big deal because they make recovery of patients very hard. Patients may spend longer time in the hospital, face more complications, and even face life-threatening conditions. Families bear extra costs and the burden on healthcare systems tend to increase. They also put health workers and visitors at risk. All this can ultimately lead to death. The good news is nosocomial infections are preventable and here is how you and I can make a difference. We need to wash and sanitize our hands before and after visiting a patient at the hospital. We need to limit bringing personal items into patient areas. We need to wear nose masks when we visit hospitals. And we also need to avoid sitting on patient's bed when we visit them at the hospital. Patients, visitors, and health workers have very, very important roles to play in preventing the spread of nosocomial infections. The preventions are not complicated. They are in the simple actions we take every day, clean hands, clean habits, and very careful visits to the hospital. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you learned something new and important today. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.